Hello everybody, this is Dr. Alison Grimston speaking um, from Better Health Through Change and I'm, reading, uh, I'm doing a video message for my Fun, Focus and Fizz newsletter. Today I've just been looking at a study that looks at the way that high GI breakfasts affect the way we eat for the rest of the day. Now quite a few studies have shown that if we have a high GI breakfast, it makes us hungrier through the day. This is um, one of the controversies, really, that I have to explain to my clients when I'm talking to them about their intake of potatoes and bread, because I know I'm not alone in that I've been brought up to think that I need potatoes or bread or pasta with my meals to fill me up, to make me feel full and satisfied. What actually happens with these high GI foods though is that they make us hungrier very shortly afterwards because they make our blood sugars drop down after they've dropped up. And I'll explain that in more detail at another point. But a study I was looking at just recently today shows in a group of adolescents that if they are given a low GI shake or a low GI meal, like the ones that I have for breakfast, they actually feel less hungry through the day. And that's also shown in markers such as their glucose levels and also their insulin levels. So there are good reasons why we feel hungrier if we have our high GI meals, such as cornflakes, toast, orange juice for breakfast, rather than a low GI meal, such as porridge or one of the low GI shakes that I use. So just a quick message about eating breakfast. Look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.